we are gathered to remember and to honor the memory of those lost on this day 12 years ago. A day when our nation and much of the world would be shaken to its core. A day when nearly 3,000 innocent people were cut down in the prime of life. In this heartbreakingly beautiful memorial plaza, we remind the families of those lost and we remind people everywhere that we stand together, Americans and Israelis, in a spirit of solidarity and commitment to the future. And no people anywhere in the world can understand the pain Americans feel today more than the Israeli people. Our shared experiences with terrorism is one more link in the unbreakable chain that binds our countries and our peoples. Once again, we stand at the foot of the monument. Once again, we come back to the death that has become a symbol of evil and terror. We stand before the wall bearing almost 3,000 names of innocent people who were murdered. There is no place in our world for such an evil and cruel enemy. We established this monument here in the Arazim Park Valley also as an expression of hope. We create a green belt ringing Jerusalem on all sides. The monument will join the forest, terraces, and springs that are so much part of the character of Jerusalem. Among the victims, there were 600 American Jews and five Israeli citizens. My beloved and admired son, I am the proudest and saddest father of Haggai Shefi, who was killed while being at the age of 34. For the last hundred years, it was the United States of America that became the main leader and the main defender of freedom and democracy in the world. The United States and Israel will continue to cooperate in order to pave the way for a better and safer future. Today, the focus is on Syria and our determination to deter the Assad regime, which has used chemical weapons to murder over 1,400 people from using such horrific weapons ever again and from degrading its ability to do so.